Hey folks, Frank Bellamy, and I'm your political consultant. We're going to talk briefly about opinion polls and benchmark polling. Benchmark polling, oh, you've heard all the polls. You've got some of them at home where the machine calls you, the computer calls, or, or an individual calls and asks you op uh, uh, open end or closed end questions about, you know, how do you feel about this? How do you feel about that? Are you willing to vote for this guy, that guy, this lady, that lady, whatever? Polls are just suggestions. Polls give suggestions. Polls don't give an absolute. So if you're concerned with running and you say, well, the polls are deeply in this guy's favor, They're, the polls are 100% for the Democrats, or polls are 100% for the Republicans, polls only give an indication. Polls aren't the truth. And polls are uh, rattled with, uh, with, uh, with error. So there's a lot of error in polling. So don't be overly concerned with what the polls say. And uh, so we're going to crank right along uh, through this, uh, through this, uh, through this session uh, of of determining the context. And uh, as we talked about earlier, get, you know one of the the main things that win elections, uh, local elections at at the lower levels, people are not really interested in what your issues are. People are really, and this is, this is through research, people are more interested in your name ID. Have they heard your name before? Have, does anybody know you? Does it, your name ring a bell with them? Uh, they're interested in your name ID. They're interested in your, your party affiliation. Those are the two basic things that get you elected at the local level. So don't be concerned with, uh, you know, I've got this great idea, these great issues, because people are not really concerned. They're mostly concerned with what they think, what, what's happening for them. So uh, uh, keep that in mind as you're making decisions and determining things. Uh, is the, the candidate status, who are you running against? Is any incumbent? Incumbents, research says, and this is research based on the... Uh, on a on the congressional level races, research says that an incumbent has a 98 percent chance of getting reelected. 98 percent chance of getting reelected. That's pretty steep, isn't it? But it's not etched in stone. You can route an incumbent out, but you have to call him out. You have to raise some money. You have to spend money. You have to uh, virtually call him on the carpet. Uh, to get an incumbent to respond and, and get the community to question the incumbent's uh, status. And in today's political uh, climate, a lot of incumbents are being threatened because people, the voters are unhappy. So just because it's an incumbent, don't think that their, their political future is etched in stone, because it's not. Uh, especially if you get a uh, political consultant like me to help you out along the way. Uh, the other thing is... Uh, in politics, be willing to take chances. Be willing to uh, say things that the other guy is not going to say, especially if you're the challenger. Because as a challenger, you don't have any, much to lose other than you might lose the election, of course. But remember when I told you earlier, politics isn't a, a foot race. Getting elected isn't, isn't a foot race. It just appears that way. It's, it's a... It's a it's a process. It builds upon itself. That's how you get elected. It builds upon itself. So, and like I said earlier, some of the greatest and most well-known rock stars in the political world have lost elections in the past. Now, uh, very important is the year of the election. Years of the election, and this is some research uh, statistics that you might want to keep in mind. Because uh, the year of the election will determine who's going to turn out to vote. How many people are going to turn out to vote. Why? Because at uh, presidential elections, there's more people paying attention. Okay? At uh, regular uh, off, off uh, presidential election races, uh, our, our people aren't paying attention very much. So non-presidential years, people aren't pay, paying attention. Eh, you know, they're aware of it happening, but they're not, you know, really intent in following a, an election. And uh, odd year elections, people really pay little attention. Something like 25% of people pay attention on, on odd year elections. Presidential elections, 50% of the voting populace pays attention. And uh, non-presidential elections, 
35% pays attention. So a lot of folks aren't really paying attention. And you've got to keep in mind, just because you're interested in politics, just because you pay attention to politics, that doesn't mean everybody else is. Other folks don't give a damn. They're not paying attention to that. They're paying attention to their own lives, their own, you know, families. Only special people like you pay attention to politics on a full-time basis. And don't confuse that with the rest of the population, the rest of the voting population, because they're not paying attention. Remember that. People are not paying attention like you are. So don't assume that they know everything. Don't assume that they're aware of everything. They pay attention the last few days, a few weeks of a campaign. Then they, pay, they, they start paying a little bit of attention, but not like you. And remember, don't be misled by the folks in your political party, by the folks that sit around the courthouse and worked on campaigns in the past, because those folks are usually dead wrong. Okay, you need a political consultant to help you through the day to day. You don't need to run your own campaign. If you're a candidate, if you're a potential candidate, the last thing, the very last thing you want to do is run your own campaign because you're guaranteed to lose. You're guaranteed to spend a lot of money. Okay, you have to have kind of nerves of steel because it's going to get a little frightening and you got to stay cool. You got to stay on your plan. You're going to have to work your plan. So keep that in mind. And remember, don't just look for reasons to dissuade yourself from running. Look for methods and ideas to adjust to so you can win. Because all races are winnable. All elections are winnable. It all depends on if you're willing to do what's necessary in order to win an election. My name is Frank Bellamy. I really appreciate you paying attention. The videos that we're going to put in, come up with in the future are going to address uh, political fundraising. It's going to address uh, uh, preparing a candidate, uh, speech writing, what to say to a group of people, what to say to strangers, how do you conduct yourself. All these are the little things that people remember about you. Hey, 